Welcome everyone. Um, this talk is about to introduce the master program on quantum science and technology in Munich, which is jointly offered by the Ludwig Maximilians University and the Technical University of Munich, um, here in Munich, of course. My name is Alexander Holleitner. I'm a professor in physics department at the Schottky Institute at TUM. And so um, the talk is meant that you come to Munich and let's say let, that let us call this lady here Alice, and it's basically mot motivated that she and you come here to Munich. And let me start with a small video here. What is meant by this 40 seconds of the talk is basically the second quantum revolution, as we call it, is about the quantum physics 2.0. And the central part is about the quantum entanglement, what we have in quantum physics. And the first step, of course, in such a master program is to learn about this quantum entanglement, but also the other fascinating world of quantum mechanics. And so the second step is, of course, to discover the quantum materials, the quantum matter. And this is basically as I, as a physicist would say, this is the most fascinating part. At the same time, we want to step forward and exploit these insights. And by that we engineer, for example, applications which are based on quantum physics, like the secure communication protocols. And then last but not least to shape, for example, novel quantum devices. So this is the idea and the vision of this master program in quantum science and technology in Munich. And so let me walk you through how we go there. It is based basically on the two universities which we have here, the Technical University of Munich and the LMU, both are one or number two of the top universities in Germany. It depends on who you ask, if it's TUM or if it's LMU. I'm from TUM, you know which one is better. And so what you have now joined together is the Faculty of Physics, Electrical Engineering, Chemistry, Computer Sciences, and Mathematics. And the idea is, let's call this guy here Bob, He's a physicist studying physics. He has some understanding how a quantum computer should work. For example, based on superconducting flux qubits or whatever. And here we have a student from mathematics. She knows, Alice knows very much how to describe an atom in a cavity which is basically controlled by microwaves. So the idea is to bring these faculties together. And then for instance, we describe and explore quantum states, like this is an helical state of an electron, for example, which has been polarized because of quantum mechanical symmetries in the specific crystals we talk about. But we also think about um, sensors based on quantum mechanics, which are as sensitive as it's possible because of quantum detection principles. And last but not least, we are building, um, for example, iron traps, where we have entanglement by that we can have a quantum simulator in our systems. And what is depicted here is basically an, an atom microscope, as we call it. So the whole master program, excuse me, this is a busy slide, but I would like to, to walk you through. First of all, it's, it's a joint program by TUM and LMU. Both universities are based in Munich. And in order to access that, you don't pay tuition fee because in Germany, uh, education is paid by the state. This is our belief. So it's a different twist to most of the American and also other um, programs, let's say. In order to get in, the, uh, you in there, the number one prerequisite is basically that you have studied quantum mechanics in your undergrad levels, quantum mechanics one in particular. This is basically one of the major first steps which you need to fulfill. Then you can apply, for example, here at physics, TUM.de, academics, master of science, quantum science and technology. And there's also a second web page, which is called the MCQST, the Munich Center for Quantum Science and Technology, DE and the master. There you find all the information I give here in the talk as well. Okay, once you apply, the deadline is the 31st of May each year, and you apply for the winter semester. 
Then we have two years. The first year is the study phase with two semesters in the winter and the summer. And the second year is then the research phase again in the winter and the summer. And typically the winter semesters in Germany start in October, November. This year, because of the COVID-19 situation, we start in November. Next year, I foresee that we again start in the middle of October, roughly. We have three blocks of mandatory courses. One um, is uh, focusing on the theory part. We call it quantum science technology theory, quantum information. And it's taught by professors both at TUM and LMU. This year it's taught, for example, by Ignacio Sirak from TUM and Michael Wolf in, um, also from TUM at the mathematics um, faculty and Ignacio Sirak is at the Max Planck Institute, but also in physics. Then the experimental part here um, is, we call it quantum hardware. And this is taught by Monika Eidelsburger from the LMU, which is a professor in the group of um, Emmanuel Bloch. And these two major lectures are basically they're covering all aspects what we know about right now on quantum science and technology, which are the basis. So basically, in order to get you in there, you need to understand quantum mechanics on the fundamental level, on a, let's say, undergrad level. And now these are basically covering all aspects what you can think of. The third module, which is also mandatory, are advanced practical trainings. In our laboratories, we do specific, uh, specific um, courses, like, for example, that you have a quantum communication protocol, um, on a flying qubit circuit or that you use MV centers to do some quantum sensitivity measurements. And as you can see, the first year of the study phase, I mean, of course, you have these mandatory blocks and they take most of your time, especially in the first semester here. But then we have this a blue block here, which is basically an elective set where we have focus areas either on experimental quantum science and technology or theoretical quantum science and technology. And this is now, we rely on all modules and courses from TUM and LMU on, in these directions. So we have about 40 different lectures on that with all aspects, what you can think of, ranging from as far as, uh, let's say, physical systems are concerned from ion traps, atom traps, um, semiconductor qubits like quantum dots, uh, superconducting qubits, um, superconducting states and so forth. And you can select on that. There's a third part, which we call general uh, modules. And this is an elective uh, part where you, for example, learn how to write papers. This is the first year. And you see there are about, uh, we call it credits, about one, um, 60 credits, 30 credits per year. And here you have to take about four exams for that. You see that's one exam, another exam, and these electives are another two exams, for example, that's encoded in this little number here. In the second semester, in the summer semester, Again, you have 30 credits by six exams, roughly. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the second year, it's the research phase. And this is the time you work closely together with the professors um, which are participating in this master program. And so this master thesis takes about one year and it's um, truncated into three parts. First of all, the master seminar where you basically uh, give an introductory talk to the seminar of this institute where you are then doing your master project and then also the master practicum where you in particular do all these experiments you build devices and so forth and then you have to write the master thesis in here which then basically you see it here in the third semester you have basically again 30 credit points with two exams which is the seminar and the practicum and then um, in the last semester you have only one exam and now um, this is quite unique. I mean, first of all, we thought we, we bring together the different faculties, what I just mentioned before. Again, I repeat it, it's physics, electrical engineering, computer scientists, chemistry and mathematics from TUM and LMU. But at the same time, we basically um, walk it or head of transition to the research phase. And then the research phase is basically covering these topics here because um, which we have from the Munich Center for Quantum Science and Technology. And this is an, let's call it entangled center of all PIs in Munich. We are roughly 40 PIs working in this large um, research thrust. And in particular, we have topics ranging from quantum matter where we have, for example, topological state. I am personally um, working on that as well. Then we have um, quantum metrology and sensing topics as we already introduced here with this little icon. We also have quantum computing for example, we are using IBM um, infrastructure, but also from Google. 
we have hired new faculties in this direction as well. Then quantum simulation, uh, where we have uh, with the Max Planck Institute for Quantum Optics, one of the world leading institutes um, on this topic here on campus. And then on the quantum information theory, um, we have um, these courses, but also with new research projects in there. And last but not least, I would like to mention the quantum communication, what we done, have done here. And by that, um, we also have one explorative direction in the research, um, as far as PhD concer uh, concerns, like for example, how we can use basically different aspects from, uh, let's say, tensor networks in different description of other physical systems. So to make that clear, first of all, these are the research topics you can choose in order to get then your master project done and your master thesis. It's basically one project in one year with one of the institutes on, in Munich here on campus. Um, but it's also, since we have now this research thrust in the background with 40 people and 40 institute, uh, 40 people, let's say, PIs, um, it's very easy to continue then with a PhD in one of these topics later on. This is basically the idea uh, why we always write Munich Center of Quantum Science behind that. And so this is also then basically this entanglement of Alice and Bob by, this, by the two universities, TUM and LMU, and of course, um, there are different states, different faculties, which are work together in order to get a new young professionals into the field of quantum science and technology. So why should you come to Munich? Um, as I said before, the tuition is free. I mean, you have to pass, of course, the, uh, the application process. Uh, we can talk about that in the question and answer afterwards. Um, Num Munich is a lovely city. Um, you can see here the image. It's rather close to the Alps. It's about one hour drive to go skiing from here. Um, actually, I can tell you throughout the last days, there was already snow going down. It's a little bit early in the year. Nevertheless, we still go hiking these days. So it's only one hour north to the Alps. We have many lakes. It's a lovely city. We have a lot of high-tech companies. So a lot of alumni stay in Munich once they're here. Um, this is one of the key um, aspects um, to come here, I would say. And please have a look at uh, the web pages of the city itself. We call our city München. Um, and then please also check out the web page of the TUM and the LMU, such that Alice and probably you then come to Munich and stroll around, not only the city, but also in the, um, let's say, greater landscape of quantum science and technology and these institutes. Um, as I said before, um, the deadline for the applications is 31st of May next year for basically the semester, which then starts roughly at the 15th of October 2021. And so with this, I would like to stop here. If you have more, inform if you would like to know more information, please check out this web page. There you also find all people who respond to you by email and so forth. So thank you very much for um, joining this um, interesting and very fascinating uh, little meeting.